Today, let's do some algorithms from freecodecamp.org. I'm on the JavaScript section. And let's do intermediate algorithm scripting. Uh, I'm going to be doing the first one today called Sum All Numbers in a Range. Let's click that. By the way, if you don't have free code camp, it's uh, free. You can sign up for free. And then uh, soon after, maybe there's a verification process, but you could come here pretty quickly. All right, so let's read the question first. We'll pass you an array of two numbers return the sum of those two numbers plus the sum of all the numbers between them. The lowest numbers will not always come first. For example, sum all for one should return 10 because sum of all the numbers between one and four, both inclusive is 10. All right, so some key things to note here. We're getting an array. Let me first copy this to my code editor right here. So some key things to note here. We're getting an array as a parameter and it will always where does it say that we'll pass you an array of two numbers so it will always be two numbers that's pretty important and here's another important part the lowest number will not always come first so if you look at the example that we see here four comes first before the one meaning we can't always assume that the first element of the array is going to be the smaller one or the bigger one vice versa so we gotta check that first and what we're gonna do is we have to add up all the numbers including the endpoints and all the numbers in between all the integers in between so let's first solve it so let's first figure out which one is a smaller number and which one is a bigger number so I'm gonna first declare two variables called min and a max and we don't know which one it is yet so we could just leave it like that and then we will do if array at zero, the first one is greater than the array of the second one, this first index. That means that the first element, the zeroth element is bigger than the first index or the second element. Meaning max is gonna be array of zero and min is gonna be the array of one. Otherwise, it's the other way. Max is going to be the array of 1, and min is going to be the array at 0. All right, now that we know what our min and the max is, we could do a traditional for loop to loop through all the numbers in between, including the endpoints, and add them up to a variable which I'll define right now called a sum. And we're going to initialize it with 0. Because right now we didn't add anything to it yet so let's do a for loop we will start using i let i equals the minimum we will allow i to go up to less than and equal to the maximum because we also want to add the max that's why we need this equal sign here and then increment it like so all right and then we're just gonna add to our sum variable like so so we're looping through from the minimum going up by one all the way up to and including the maximum and we're adding it to our sum variable once we do that let's return sum so this should do it let me first test it here let's console log sum all one through four so what should that be one two three four that should be ten yep we got ten here I don't know if you guys see that time. Uh, what if we flip it? This part should take care of that. So let's just make sure we get 10 again. Yep, we get 10. And here's another thing that we I didn't really talk about. What if the numbers were the same? What should the sum all be if the two numbers were the same? I would argue that it should just be the number itself because we're adding the endpoints, both inclusive. So it should just be 4. Yep, and we get four here, so that's good. So this seems to work. Let's submit that. And then run the test. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple ways to optimize this code or a different way if possible. So uh, we see we did this thing here. Now there's a way to optimize this somewhat using what's called a ternary operator. And let me show you guys that right now. So let's do const min 
will be, I'm using cons because this will not change. I will not reassign another number to this once I declare it here. I'm going to use a ternary operator to determine my min and the max. So I'm going to say const min is if the zeroth index is smaller than the second index, first index I mean, min is going to be array at zero, else it's going to be array at one, and the max is going to be the opposite. If array at zero is greater than array of one, then it's going to be array of zero or array of one, like so. And I made a mistake. This part, because we're using a ternary operator, it should be question marks like so. Sorry about that. And that should identically replace all of this logic here. Let's see if that works. Let me make this back to 4, 1 and see that we got 10. There we go. All right, so this was another way we slightly refactored our code to use ternary operators. Here is the condition that needs to be either true or false. If it's true, then the first one becomes our value, or otherwise, if it's false, then the second one becomes our value. Another way to do this is we don't even, even need to define the min or the max. So let's get rid of all this. Another way to do it is use the built-in math library that JavaScript comes with. And we could just do math.min. And normally you would think that you would just throw in the array here, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, what this math.min function takes in as parameters, it, it takes in comma separated numbers. So uh, it does not accept an array, it accepts a comma separated values of numbers. So what we can do is just spread the array, uh, the array. That way we spread it, separating all the numbers by comma. So this is called the spreading operator, the spread operator here. And we could do the same thing for the max, math.max, dot, 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 array. That should also do it too. So let's see if that works. Run the test. And there you go. All right, so that was sum all numbers in a range. I'll see you guys next time.